everyone. I'm Lisa from Pink Hollybush Designs and today I'm just going to show you how to do this simple shell stitch edging. We're going to do this by hand. It's a traditional heirloom technique and it's often um, was done on baby garments, um, especially um, this is a little slip and that was a typical object that a uh, piece of clothing that this technique was used on. Now, um, to use this technique, you do need to be working with a fine fabric. So this is a Nalona Batiste. This would also work with a lawn or with a voile, but it's not going to work with um, something a whole lot heavier than that. You also notice that um, this is done on the neckline here, so you can use this technique on the straight of grain, the cross grain, or even, um, you know, on a curved and shaped um, neckline like I have here, which, which just makes it very versatile. So um, let me show you how we're going to do this. So here is the front of my garment, actually inside out though, and I've taken um, the edge here, and with my iron, I've pressed an eighth of an inch and then I've pressed it again an eighth of an inch and just gotten that edge really sharp so I can um, see it. Now you'll notice because of the curve this is not um, lying flat and that's fine. My, my um, shell stitch edging will naturally gather this a little bit for me and the reason it's not lying flat is if you see because of this curve, I'm actually um, pressing in a greater amount of fabric into a smaller area, and so it just doesn't want to lie flat yet. Now, as you are pressing, though, make sure that you don't tug on this. This is um, on the bias because of the curve, and so if you're pulling, you know, you can, it's natural to kind of want to just do that as you're as you're pressing it. But if you do that, you can stretch this neckline out, and we don't want to do that. So again, I've got an eighth of an inch and an eighth of an inch that I've pressed into place. And then you might see I just have some little dots. I just, um, you can eyeball it as you go along, but I like just to have a little guidance. And so I've just taken my um, purple marking pen, and I've made dots along this um, edge every centimeter. Now you could go a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller than that, depending on the fabric you're working with. Um, especially when you're working with a baby garment, you might be inclined to think, well, I should go smaller. But if you go too small, you lose that nice shape. It, it isn't as defined of the shell that we're trying to get. So um, I found as I was testing this that a quarter of an inch seemed a little too small to me, a half an inch seemed a little bit too big, and so um, I just used my tape measure and just marked um, one centimeter, which I thought is giving me a good result. So I'm using a basic sharps needle. I'm using a contrasting thread just um, so you can see what I'm doing but you would want to use all-purpose um, regular sewing thread. I've run my thread through some beeswax just to make it um, a little bit stronger because we're going to be yanking on this. And I've taken two little stitches in the seam allowance just to anchor um, and get started. So now I'm going to do a couple running stitches all the way through. I'm doing this from the wrong side of the fabric and my running stitches are going right along that bottom um, fold of the hem. And I'm going to take those to where I have my first dot. Okay. And I'm going to go over the top of the fabric from the back and come through right where that, where I had the dot and where my last running stitch was. So then I'm wrapping the thread over the top and I'm just going to pull it until it just lies there. And then I'm going to do that again. So over the top again, I'm coming out in the same place. So I'm wrapping it twice, but this time 
I'm gonna give it a good tug and that's gonna form my scallops. I'm gonna do the running stitches again and I'm doing um, two to three in my um, one centimeter spot there over the top try to get it here coming out right where there, that is so just pull it till it's taut over the top again got static cling going on here and this time we're going to pull it okay and you see there's my nice little scallop forming and part of the reason that we're doing the two um, we're going over twice is that that helps kind of lock it and pull that scallop tight but it's not pulling up my running stitches so we're not really trying um, to gather this. So I've got three this time. Now you will get some gathering in where you have a greater curve, like down at the bottom of um, the armhole. There's one. I'm going to go around again. And we pull and there you can see my scallops okay and there it is on the other side it doesn't look as good with the red thread you can see the irregularities but hopefully you can see the finished neckline has just a really nice um, shape to it